working pivot rollout. We can use the working pivot to transform objects without really affecting their main pivot point at the object or even the sub-object level. So therefore we could rotate an object in a scene about an hour arbitrary point without really affecting its own pivot point. So we're going to go up into our command panel and we're going to go to hierarchy. And here we have the adjust pivot, but down here in the working pivot, if I say, let's go to edit working pivot. Here's our working pivot. There's only one working pivot in a scene. And we can, it's independent of all the other objects. So in this point, we can edit this working pivot point. We can move it in any direction we want and say we want it to go over here. Okay, so we can really edit that working pivot point. Um, so that's one thing we can use it to do. And we can also use the working pivot point. And uh, so we can go over to the use this pivot point. And now when I pick on an object, now I'm using this pivot point. Now when I move on this object, I am uh, transforming according to its uh, pivot point of the working of this scene. So the working pivot point, I'm adjusting this object according to this working pivot. Okay, so let's use the working pivot. When I say, notice right now I have the X going this direction, the Y going this direction, Z straight up. If I say align to view, when I click on align to view, now it's aligned to my screen, my computer screen. And now X is coming out, Z's up, and, I mean Y is up, and Z's coming right at me. And so this is aligned to my screen. Once I do this, I can always reset it by hitting the reset button, and it puts it back to where it was. Now, I can place the pivot to an area. Uh, when I place the pivot to an area, this enables me to set the work and pivot uh, quickly in my viewpoint, uh, viewport, excuse me. And to position it, what we're going to do is we're going to say uh, view. Click on the view. And, and in the view then, I can come around and say, you know what, I want it right over here. And I can pick and it'll move right over there. And it's going to, I have the line to view is checked. So then the Z is coming straight at me and it's lined up with my computer screen essentially. And I can, of course, go back and reset that, right? And I also can place my pivot to the surface of an object. So when I click surface, I can come over here and pick on this surface and it'll place it right on the top of that surface and it's going to align it to the view if I have this checkbox on. That means X is over here, Y straight up, and Z is coming at me. In other words, it's lined up with my computer screen. So I can place these working pivot points. Uh, and my scene has only one working pivot point and it's independent of all the others in the scene. And so this working pivot point is another way uh, we can uh, manipulate our objects and at any time I can always go back and reset my pivot point. So if I jump back toggle type thing and uh, let's say I want to come in and do some other type of task now let's say let's go and maybe orbit right we can orbit based in here around those pivot points all right so pivot points remember we got to go up to the hierarchy tab and we want to come down and adjust the pivot and the working pivot